What's going on guys? Jason Soroy, Denver Realtor here. Hey, I wanted to cover the Denver Market Trends Report for December 2020. Let's dive straight in and see what's going on. Hey, so if you've been following me for a couple of months, you're probably used to hearing the story of record low inventory, record high demand, interest rates are so low, equity positions are improving at neck breaking speed. And I'm here to tell you that that is exactly what this report says as well with a couple extra interesting facts that I'll dive into. So let's start with active inventory. At month end, again, this is November 30th, 2020, we ended with another record-breaking low inventory amount, 3,415 total homes available for buyers to choose from. Now this is down 51% from last year at this time. Even more extreme is how far below the 35 year rolling average of 14,800 homes that we typically have seen. Let's talk about month's supply of inventory. If no new homes were to come onto the market from December 1st onward, it would take as little as two weeks for there to be no homes available left to buy. Let that sink in for a second, two weeks. Now we did also notice a new trend emerge this month. Typically, the most active price band is between $500,000 and $750,000. This last month, it was homes listed over a million dollars that saw more activity. Diving deeper into that luxury space of a million plus, if we isolate detached single family homes, no condos, no townhomes, at month end of November, we had 561 one million plus dollar homes available on the market. That actually makes up about a third of the total detached single family uh, inventory that the Metro had to offer. And honestly, that's probably just because we have more people looking for more space to live in. Now, all this low inventory talk is probably getting a little bit old. Doesn't seem like it's anything new and you're right, but it's not all gloom and doom. If you think about the number uh, or the sheer volume of transactions happening in any given month, it might give you a little bit more hope if you're a buyer thinking to uh, enter the market right now. So for example, uh, we had 3,400 homes close in the month of November not to mention the other 3,300 we had go under contract that will close in December for those that go through. Now, in other words, we had just as many homes close as we had homes available to choose from at the end of November. That's pretty wild. We have just as many homes closing as we had available in the month of November. So sellers, this means if you have a turnkey property, again, turnkey means it doesn't need any major updates, it's cosmetically looking good, uh, you can expect multiple offers within three days of going on market if your home is marketed correctly. If you want more information about how to market your home correctly, let me know. Now buyers, for those of you who are serious, this means you need to have your lender pre-approval letter in hand. It means you are aware that you're not going to be shopping at the tip top of your pre-approval dollar amount because homes are going for above list price. It also means that you have your MLS alerts set to ASAP. And I mean direct MLS alerts, directly from Ari Colorado. And of course, you have your realtor lined up ready to go, and it's someone who can negotiate like a bulldog to get your offer accepted. And last, if you're finding value in these videos that I'm making, bringing you the stats about what's going on in the market, let me know. Leave me a comment, uh, send me a DM on whichever platform you're watching this on, and I'd be happy to chat with you about any specific questions you have or even make a video about it. And uh, hey, that's all I got for you. Be well, stay smart, catch you next time.